Today I'm here to review Gundam Male Fighters Try Episode 24, you guys. This episode, it was balls to the walls. Fucking awesome. Thus being said, you guys, I love every fucking moment of this episode. I even had to pull my stray out the box to watch it with me. He says, oh my goodness, this episode is fucking awesome. Thus being said, you guys, I loved how they started this episode off. Pretty much having Seikai, Yumi, Yuma, and Formina come up with a strategy to fight um, Wilfred, Ado, and Shia. And what made me get a little puzzled is Wilfred and his team, they just go, hey, no strategies, fight freely, whatever you want to do in this battle, fucking do it. And I'm just looking like, whoa, shouldn't that be the other? What? But with us being said, you guys, Ado rushes off, and having this battle starts off fucking crazy. Ado and Yuma, oh my goodness, those two guys, when they fight, it is fucking magic. And I was loving that shit. Also, with Shia and Fumina, whoa. I'm just looking like, oh my goodness, Fumina, I don't like her, but but she is holding her own against Shia. And honestly, it looked like they made Fumina get the upper hand against Shia. I don't know why, but they did it. Also with Wilfred and Seikai. Oh my goodness, this 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 was the fight right here. Um, Wilfred, I'm just looking like, oh my goodness, this guy is fucking badass because. He just holds his arms crossed, looking super cocky, making his lance break apart, having them into lance bits, fucking Seikai up, just beating the shit out of him, armless. I'm just looking like, that shit is fucking awesome. And at one point in this fight, each of them stood in a circle. Whoever they was battling, they shot a beam at them, and they all collided in the middle the cinder pretty much destroying where they were fighting. I'm just looking like, that is fucking cool. And the one thing that I didn't like about this episode, the one thing I didn't like was the fact that they had the doctor come there and say, a dose not at 100%. I'm just looking like, why couldn't you just let him fight at 100%? That is bullshit. We don't want to see no what ifs all over the internet saying, what if a dose at 100%? He, may, he maybe could have been the winner. I'm just looking like, you should have let him fight at 100 fucking percent. Come on, man. But with that being said, you guys, Ado, he destroys Lightning Gundam, and now Yuma only has his flight unit left. And at this point, Shia pushes um, Fumina winning Gundam to his limits. So Yuma and Fumina, they combine... And I'm just looking like, that is fucking awesome. That is badass. With thus being said, you guys, Fumina and, not Fumina, Ado and Yuma. These guys go all out. Thus being said, they destroy each other. That's a double TKO. And Fumina and Shia, they were fighting. And Fumina, her Gundam just powers down. Just, woo, I'm guessing it's out of particles. That shit was hilarious. And she just says, move one more time, move. And a tear just drops and it lands on her um, control controls. And I'm just looking like, wow, are you really going to do that shit? That's being said, I thought that Formula was going to be Chia. But Chia actually pierces the winning Gundam with her spear or whatnot. And I'm just looking like, yes, she beat winning Gundam. Then I happen to wait a few seconds and they show that she stabbed she is gun plus as well, and I'm just looking like, wow, are you, what? So, another TKO happens in this episode. Thus being said, the only people left being able to fight is Wilfred and Seikai. And they were going all out. I'm not even going to lie. It was an even fucking match. At one point, each Seikai had the upper hand. Wilfred had the upper hand. They were both fighting back and forth, back and forth. But at one point, Wilfred was about to win. You cannot say anything different. Wilfred had this battle won. The only reason why Wilfred didn't win because the clock. Literally, no pun intended, time was on Sekai's side. And we get to see them having to start up in a three minute interval. They get a three minute break or whatnot and I'm just looking like, wow. That battle it was fucking crazy. And while they're having the break Shia, she fixes Wilfred's Gunpla and Yuma. Yuma, you are fucking badass for this. He has he has this theory. He just says, you know what? I had a feeling this was going to happen. 
So he pretty much combines um, lightning and winning onto um, Tribeal Burning being able to move now. So pretty much Sekai has a new fucking gunplay now. And he's able to fight again. Thus being said, it was fucking crazy. And this fight, it was the next fight. The one-on-one -on -one Sekai versus Wilfred round two. It was so fucking epic. You know the guy when he goes, battle start. He just goes, battle start. He just yells it super loud. Wilfred just knocks the sign out of the air. And they go ham. They go at it. I mean, they just go balls to the walls crazy in this fight. They even have this song come on. And while they're fighting, it was crazy as shit. Thus being said, when this smoke cleared, I'm just looking like, wow, wow, this fight is fucking crazy. They're blowing up each other's arms, their weaponry, everything. Thus being said, the winner of this match and the new champions, Team Tri Fighters. And I'm just looking like, okay, I'll give them this. But I want to see them in the next tournament. The World Tournament, I believe. But thus being said, you guys, this episode, it was fucking awesome. The Meijing Cup, I believe, is the final episode of Season 1. I don't know if they're going to get picked up for a Season 2. I hope they do. If they don't, I'm still doing the giveaway after Season 1, if it's only going to be a Season 1. If they're going to do a Season 2, I will give away two Gunpla. That's being said, you guys, when this series of Gunpla Try Bill Fighters is over, I will give away some Gunpla. That's being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share the videos. All you have to do to enter is like, comment, and subscribe. That's being said, you're watching Otaka Weekly. This is Hermit Frost, over and out.